Wellard helping out. Wouldn't have to be your last day by any chance, would it? How are Rio and Roxy taking it? I hadn't told them yet. Would you like me to talk to them? No. no. It's not easy moving out, but you're doing the right thing moving in with your dad. You're leaving? Wow, you kept that quiet. And I'm sure she'd like to keep it that way, young lady. OK, Posse Boots. My lips are sealed. Ah. Oh. Another success story. Days like this, I just love my job. Yeah, and then we go and ruin it by coming back. Well, that's your choice, Justin. Your dad didn't throw you out, you left. He wanted me out of the way. Well, that's where you're wrong, because he's coming to see you today. Sorry, I'm busy all day. This is what you're letting yourself in for. Dad's useless. Don't do it. I'm not you, Justin. Suit yourself. Your funeral. It will be when I tell Rio and Roxy. I need a favour. I've been sending love notes to my teacher again. Forget it. Uh, no, I, I I need someone to have their photos taken for um, a, a brochure thingy. And of course, you thought of me. The photographer will be here in an hour. Great. I'll go and make myself more beautiful if it's possible. <laughs> Elaine. Chantel, the top secret, don't tell anyone. Okay. Get off. Can you keep a secret? They're splitting up the well -out. You mark her. Don't tell anyone, okay? But Chantel's on her way out. Toro, Toro! Yes. Goodbye, well old word domination. Hello, freedom. Hey, Rox, what are you doing? What does it look like? Land down crashed tires. Why? Why not? I'm going to try and get us two tickets to the darkness gig next week. Great. Don't sound too excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just I can't go. You're not going with that fat idiot from school, are you? No, I won't be here. I'll be in Somerset. My dad wants me to go live with him, and I've said yes. Does Rio know? He's gonna go mad. Beaker, you'll never guess who's leaving Chantel. What's the weather like? <laughs> sun, sun, sun. Hotel only three stars, though. Cam is so tight. She's off doing a painting class with some bloke she's gone starry-eyed over. But don't worry, it won't last. I'll get rid of him faster than you can say Tutankhamen. Be honest. I have no idea. Has Chantel talked to you? Yeah. And are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Hey! 
How's about we organise a leaving party for her? Come on, we could pick a cake. Do you hate her that much? Oh, ha, ha. Come on. It'll be fun. Whatever. <sighs> Come back, Duke. All is forgiven. Oh, yes, the king. Best of free birthday. So, how are you feeling? Great, why? Bit of a surprise, you're moving out. Don't bother me. Hey. I thought you were that close. What? Me and Justine? No. Well, who then? Chantal. What about Chantal? Sorry. Justine heard her say she was going to live with her dad. Well, Justine heard wrong. You're right. It's probably just gossip. Yeah. If Chantal was leaving, she'd have told me. Same again? No, thanks. I'm not in the mood. Rio. Well done, Crash. I thought as it's the front cover, I'll go for, like, a moody yet vulnerable look. What do you think? Where's the photographer? Uh, well, um, <clears throat> actually, Justine, uh, that was a bit of a teeny-weeny white lie. Hello, Liv. You stitched me up. We need to talk. Bye, Parrot. Justine. Oh, and while I'm at it, where do I file a complaint against my social worker for lying? You're being unfair. You're the one being unfair, placing me with some spotty dog walker. He's not a dog walker. He's my nephew and your cousin. Yeah, well, he stinks. Thanks for telling me. I didn't know how to. Everyone's pointing and laughing. Rio's the last to know. It made me feel great. I'm sorry. Some loser wants to play happy families and you can't get away fast enough. He's my dad. He wants to try again. He's useless. All our dads have been useless. That's why we're here. I'll come visit. Don't bother. I never want to see you again. Emma. When I was young, I had a dog. And when my brother left home, he took it with him. It broke my heart. But I was tough. I pretended not to care. Like I'll find you. OK. But you know where I am if you need to... Did Chantel tell you she was leaving? Yeah. You knew you didn't tell me? She's the one who's leaving. She should have told you herself. I know this is tough. But this is a really good opportunity for your sister. I was about to help us finish off Chantel's sponge cake. Come on. You can stick the stupid cake. It's horrible. Just like everything else in this stupid kid's home. Horrible, horrible, horrible! I brought some of your stuff. Couldn't wait to get rid of me, could you? You asked me to bring it. That brings back good memories. Does it? It was a great holiday. A great family holiday. We could go again, you know, all of us. Give you a chance to get to know John. I don't want to get to know John. Oh, Justine, what was I supposed to do? He didn't have anywhere to stay. I, I, I can't just let him down. No, it's just me do that too. Justine, please. I'm begging you. Come home. Not until he's gone. Fine. I hope you and Mr. Mongrel are very happy together.
Just think, no more being bossed around by this stupid well arts. We can do what we want, when we want. Tell them exactly what we think. Rogs won't be so brave now there's only two of them. And tell exactly who's boss. Me. The worlds are finished. She's standing right by me, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Watch it, wolf boy. Anyone seen Rio? He's in the garden. Chantel's having a leaving party. Two o'clock. Be there. Let me to answer to. Fancy dress? You know what, Marco? That's not a bad idea. I can't believe she chose it. Maybe he's sorry. Then why don't you just buy her stuff? She doesn't have to move in with him. Well, she wants to be part of a family again. She has a family. Me and Roxy. Oh, this is different. It's a chance to get out of here and have a normal life. Listen, she'll always be a sister, wherever she is. No one can take that away from you. Don't tell me hay fever. No, chopping onions. Right. Must have been some onion. Chantal can't go. She's the only family we've got. Oh, it's OK. It'll all work out. What? Like it did for you? Point taken. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm scared Chantal will forget about us. I was told the Wellots weren't scared of anything. Don't worry. Your dad'll be here soon. I thought you said you didn't want to see me again. Well, I was wrong. And I'm sorry. At least you feel something. Roxy's behaving like she couldn't care less. I do care, she just I didn't know what to say. Everything sounded dead soppy. <laughs> it's OK. I like soppy now and again. I said to give you this. Throw it in the bin, I don't want Just it. Justine, just keep it. Where is everyone? I thought it was supposed to be a party. Doesn't matter. We don't need anyone else. We've got each other. You were taking the mic? No. We thought it'd give Chantel a proper well out send off. So, what do you reckon? Do we pass? <laughs> My long lost relatives. Don't mess with me, I'm a well out. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Marco. You know what? I can't go. Of course you can. We're family. We always will be. Um, Chantel. Everyone, this is my dad. Hi, hi. Hey, you. Baldy, look after her, or you'll have us to deal with. We're the Wellards. And we, we know, know where you live. live.